welcome to another video so in this video i will be doing a garden tour and showing you what is growing in the garden this time of the year so first up is my peace lily she is doing so fabulous look at her so nice she has five blooms on her so my peace lily is just showing off for the spring she's getting in the mojo i need to repot her though so i plan to put her in that big pot because she's in another plastic pot and placed in that big pot so i need to repot her so this is growing so lovely in my garden right now I have this vanda it bloomed for me recently and since it has bloomed it's giving me a kiki so I see this kiki is coming very nicely so either I'm going to let her stay and grow here or I'm going to take her off when she's bigger so this is growing so lovely right now it has given me one two three four roots so let me know guys if you think I should remove her or should I let her stay but I'm waiting on her to get bigger though so let me know if you think I should remove her or let her stay so that's another one that's growing so good in the garden right now oh and this is the mother plant and that's the kiki I also have this Hoya that is growing in the garden. It has given me a lot of new growth. So I see that this is her season to be putting on a lot of leaves. So she has not bloomed as yet. She's just flourishing with a lot of leaves. And she's doing very good in the garden. I don't remember the exact name of this Hoya. So if you know the name of this Hoya, please put it in the comments so I can tag it. So this is growing beautifully in the garden now. This African monk orchid is also growing very well in the garden. I will put a link in the description below of when I repotted this African monk. I had it growing in the tree and I didn't know that it's a soil orchid which is a ground orchid. So now that I've put her in this pot she has given me a lot of new growth. And she's just looking lovely. She has never bloomed so I'm waiting on her to bloom this yellow madame splash is also in bloom this is her first time blooming for me look at the lip of that plant she's so beautiful so it's her first time blooming for me i did a video where i repotted her so i will put the link hopefully in the description below a couple orchids that are spiking for me and one of them is my cattleya it spiked for me already and gave me a bloom and it's spiking again this is the old spike just finished blooming last month and this is the new spike so i have it growing in a clay pot and I use Oscomote in the little container so it's a slow release fertilizer so every time I water the plant it gets a little fertilizer so I have it in this ceramic pot and it's doing very good another orchid in spec is this dendrobium pink you see the little spike right there coming up it's a beautiful pink this one blooms and it's also pushing up a little speck right there right there so I am patiently waiting on her to start you know sending up her shoot I'm so excited for her to bloom in two different places on the same plant I have this den pink variety which is also spiking for me she's one of the plants that I repotted four to five months ago so she is giving me a spike she bloomed for me already all the time and i just can't wait for her to 
you know, grow and do her thing. She's a dendrobium pink variety, so there's a number of different um, pink colors within the same bloom. She is also in a clay pot. That's inside the pot. I use charcoal and a little bit of coconut house for my mixture. And there she is. She's a lovely plant. If you are new to the channel, this is my faithful Phalaenopsis, which is always, always, always in bloom. She is now fading her blooms, and I see that she has given me two kikis, which I will now show you. This is one of her kiki here. I'm so excited for this because I was really worrying about this plant and I was wondering if it was going to die because a lot of the leaves were yellowing and I was thinking that it had on too much blooms which resulted in it um, putting out too much energy in its blooms but I see where it has now given me two kikis on either one on either side so this is one of them. Kiki on the other side so the Kikis are doing really good and I'm so excited for that so I have her in a wooden basket and there are her leaves on her and she's also pushing new leaf so that is a plus so she's she's bouncing back she's doing great I also have this Dishidia in the garden that is growing very nicely it was giving me a lot of problems at first because it was rotting and I put it on the outside stop watering her for a while allow her to get just the rainwater and so forth and she has bounced back so this is my Dishidia which is growing in the garden as you can see she has put on a lot of new leaves I also have another um, dendrobium pink variety. I don't know if you can see the little bloom down, the little blooming stalk down there trying to come up the spike. But she is also in spike, my den pink variety that is tied to my tree. You can see she's a long cane tied to the tree right here. So she is growing beautifully this time of the year and I'm so excited about that. Another orchid that I have that is going, growing beautifully in this garden is this Dendrobium Red and it is also in bloom and it has given me two, it's in spikes sorry and it has given me two spikes can you see them? I can't wait for them to open so she's way up in the tree so let me get down but I just wanted to show you guys what's going on so if you like what you see growing in the garden please remember to hit the subscribe button like and share this video with your family and your loved ones thanks for watching guys bye